everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Blind Let's Play. In the last episode, we finished going through Route 8, making our way here to Sir Chester Town, home of the sixth gym leader of the game, and also our first encounter with ice types. We found several ice types, too. <laughs> um, there was a little bu a ice bug type over here named Snom. There he is. And even seeing an ice type, Galarian Darumaka. An ice type Darumaka! Oh my god! I am stoked for that. But we didn't look at them in the Pokedex. And I want to see exactly what type they are, where I can find them. This is Snom. Snom probably evolves. I would be shocked if it didn't, but I haven't figured out how to do so. And an ice type Darumaka. Oh my god, look at him. It's an ice type. Where can we find it? No, it's a sword exclusive. No. You're kidding. Bro. Unless you just have to breed Darmanitan. But it looks like I'm not getting the Galarian Darmanitan on this playthrough. That's unfortunate. But we also explored all this city has to offer other than the gym. And then we made our way south over to Route 9. And we saw another new Pokemon down here. But not one that we can actually access quite yet. We fought the trainers over here. And there's two. Male and female. But then we came down here, and we can't quite go to Sir Chester Bay yet. But there's that thing just sitting there. I don't know what it is. But it looks like an interactable Pokemon, because it's not moving. And it's in the exact same spot even when I came back. And there was a guy in town that mentioned a Octopus Pokemon. And I wonder if that's the Pokemon he's talking about. I'll go up here and show you the guy really quick, so we can remind ourselves of the name of that Pokemon. This guy right here. Right. He said, my clobopus, which sounds like a clobbering octopus, and I'm actually stoked to see what that Pokemon is. And we might see what it is in this episode, if it's an ice type in the ice type gym. Because we are going up here to the ice gym stadium and taking on the sixth gym of the game. I am super excited, and I can't wait to see the ice types that we haven't seen quite yet. I hope there's a lot of them. I love ice types. And we've only seen two so far. And I'd love to see the Darmanitan. Rolly roll. It's so easy to get depressed when it's cold. But Darmok are able to store more strength the colder it gets. Really? That's so different than Unifa, huh? All right. Let's enter the Sir Chester Stadium and take on our sixth gym challenge of this adventure. Man, I'm excited. Oh, Hop is here too. Did he get his badge already? It probably... No, he lost? What? Really? That's caught me off guard. There must be something wrong with his strategy, but he's just seen what Lee do in battles. He's going to give us the Ice Leader's card. Right. We haven't seen the Ice Gym Leader yet, so let's see what Melanie's about. Okay, I was expecting a guy. Um, I don't know why, but I was expecting like a Wolfric type, but I guess it's going to be like a Candace type this time. All right. Let's go ahead and check out Melody. And But first, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Moon Ball. Yeah. There we go. Got ourselves a moon ball. That's three for three guessing what Pokeball the ball guy is going to give us. Yeah, they are curious Pokeballs, huh? All right. Let's check out the league card of Melanie. Mallory? Mallory? I don't remember. What's her name? Melanie. Dude. Damn. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check this out. Melanie has been a gym leader since she was in her 20s. She is known as a very effective coach, but her coaching style is incredibly strict. Her battle style is finningly severe and stoic as well. Any gym trainers who manage to remain under Melanie are sure to be powerful opponents. Thus, many see Sir Chester Stadium as a major roadblock for gym challengers. Many quietly speculate that Melanie's harsh battle style is due to a fight she had with her son. Really? I am really excited. To see what Melanie is all about. Let's get this going, shall we? Let's jump into this. Let's talk to these guys first. Her thing is still not evolved into an orb eagle. Hopefully we'll see that soon. A match in the city of snow. It's as if the weather is cheering her on. Yeah, I am so excited. Yeah, I am pretty famous. I'm a sweet train. In order to face Pokemon types, you're weak again. You'll need more than courage. Careful planning and strategy are what led to courage after all. Actually, I might need to bring um, Karincha back, huh? 
I think that might be a pretty good idea. Yeah. I think we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and put Patty in the PC and bring Karincha back for a little bit. We haven't had her on the team for a while. And this being the Ice-type gym, she's gonna be our best bet by far. Let's go ahead and give her an item, too. I don't know why she's not got the Rocky Helmet still. Why was that? No, not Restore. I hit Restore twice. Held item. Bag. Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet. There we go. Let's do this really quick. Alright. Actually, King's Rock, man. Yeah. Eh. We're not going to be very fast, so let's use the Rocky Helmet. Going to be useful for those Ice types that use physical moves on us. And... Because that's plentiful. <laughs> Alright. Uh, anybody else to talk to? Yeah. I'm glad to have Karincha back. We're going to need that type coverage for sure. Let's go ahead and start our next gym challenge. Yes, I want to do it. Let's change you into our uniform and take down the sixth gym mission. I'm super excited to see what this is going to be like. I hope it's an ice puzzle. Please head on in and pick up the trap detector. You'll need it for the gym mission. Really? Well, I hope there's a, pu like a, a sliding puzzle. You know, I want an ice puzzle. It's an ice type gym. We need an ice type puzzle. We didn't get one with Wolfric. Doesn't look like we're getting one here either. All right, what's the trap detector? Let's see. This guy's going to explain to us our gym mission. It looks interesting. It looks like the dowsing machine, which we haven't had yet, but I don't think it's in this game since there's not really hidden items that I'm aware of. Yeah, give me the details. All right, the trap detector. You need it for this because the invisible pitfalls are everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you, and the closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. All right. Interesting. Not really a good gym mission. Can I hear you? Stay calm and move forward. Okay. That would be a pitfall. This way? Yeah. Okay. Let's fight this guy. Show me a new ice type! That music was cool. All right, Gym Trainer Lewis. What do you got for me? A Snom. Okay, nothing new, but maybe we'll see Snom's middle evolution if it does evolve twice. Karincha, it's been a while, and this thing is four times weak to fire. You show them why you charge so well. It's been so long since we've used Karincha, and I feel bad about it. She's just not been anybody that I've been super stoked about using. I don't know. Level 41 for her, though, which is cool to see. And that's it for Lewis. He was definitely a joke. You think he'd have at least two Snom or something? The trainers just have very few Pokemon, and they seem so weak. I don't know. Like, I don't know. This game just seems like the trainers are pathetic. I thought that was going to be a hole, but it was, like, looking kind of weird. Like, this way it was vibrating, too. Do I have to go to the left, then? This is a really weird gym. Okay. I'll take it. Where were the other holes? Is he going to tell us? Okay. Interesting. I mean, it seems like an ice type gym. I like it. Dude, ice steel would be a sick type. I mean, not great. You know, anything ice is not the greatest. All that weakness. I figured. This is, like, not easy. <laughs> I, maybe I'm just, like, bad. Yeah, I'm bad. I mean, I figured you could go around it, but they're both spots. Just go straight. Bro. Come on. All right, there we go. Next one. Show me a new ice type. There's got to be more than just Darumaka and Snom. Leanna. Come on. Cloyster. Actually, it's not new. I've seen a cloister a billion times. I mean, it's kind of a threat, though, for Karinsha. Oh, well, we'll Rock Blast. I know they have so much defense, but hopefully if we hit a lot. Whoa. Huh. I didn't think you'd deal that much damage to me. We burned it, which is nice, I suppose. All right, we're going to have to switch. Also, the Rocky Helmet's nice. Rock Blast. A one. Hit five times for me. Get rid of this thing. Come on, Karinsha. You're working for your spot back. You lost your spot for life. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Actually, I'm just gonna heal. I don't like using items, but I don't. It's save me time over switching because it'll kill itself with the Rocky helmet and with the burn. Save me a little bit of time, I suppose, over switching. Unless it just doesn't use a physical attack, which is entirely possible. Now it used Razor Shell. And the burn and the Rocky helmet will take it out. And, oh yeah, it lowered my defense too, so it could have killed me with a crit. Oh well, that's it for Cloyster. The Rocky Helmet does so much damage, my lord. Alright, that's gonna get Karis to 35. Maybe it evolves at level 35. It might evolve via some method, but it might just evolve at 35. I don't know. Nah, man, I wanna see Karis evolve. It's been, like, toted around for so long, and it gotten nowhere. Alright, let's fight this guy. Another gym tra- another gym trainer. Another chance at seeing a new ice type. Gym Trainer Alexander has a bear tick. That's not a new ice type. That's just a bear tick. <laughs> and it will be very easy to take out a couple of flame charges. I would use Rock Blast. I could kill it in one shot if it hit five times, but... Well, that sucks. Dude, everything uses swag. Oh, confusion, confusion moves, I tell you. But two flame charges to take it out, and the speed will helpfully make it so I don't get swaggered, which is great. Finish the fight. And Swagger missed the first time, which is really good to see. That 10% coming in clutch. I've had it happen when I really needed it to before. All right, Mind Shuffle level 43. Still not a Goff Egregious. I have a feeling I'm missing something there, but not anything I can do about that other than look it up, which I'm not going to do. And if after a while it's still not evolved, I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the team. No, I was going to step back. That's annoying. You know it's not just straight. You got to go this way. Bro, I didn't even step on that tile. I had to go around it. All right. We're done here. All right. There's got to be another set. Yeah, show me all the holes that I avoided. Wouldn't it be funny if it did that, but, like, we stepped in everything and it had nothing to break open? I wonder what it says. Is that it? Are we done? Oh, it's blinded now. Dude, you didn't have to do that. Don't rush it. Okay. I like the words of encouragement. What a trip. <laughs> this is something else, I tell you that. Only a little further now. All right. But yeah, I'm going to fight this guy. Let's do it. I don't want to miss a gym trainer, though. That sucks if that's the case. All right. Gym trainer Mika. An Avalug. Whoa. I would love to use one of those in a playthrough. I wonder where you get Bergmite. Maybe you don't get Bergmite in Shield. I don't know, but I'm going to heal because it'll probably use a physical attack that would kill me from this stage. But the Hyper Potion will damage it a lot with the Rocky Helmet, and then I'll be able to finish it off next turn with a good old Rock Blast. That's the hope. We still have Flame Charge for our best fire type attack, by the way. That's really unfortunate. And we would have survived that crunch, but it at least lets us survive the next one it uses with the Hyper Potion. Unless we just, like, five hit Rock Blast right now. And what you missed? Why would you miss? Karincha, what are you doing to me? You're not doing good to come back on the team. I'm not, I don't know, I don't really care for Colossal's design, if I'm quite honest. It's just kind of lame to me. It was okay to me before, but it, eh. I like Col, I like the, um, Col Curb. The Col Car, what was it called? I don't remember. <laughs> but I like the Col Cart guy. But not so much Colossal. It just reminds me too much of Golem. It looks like a Galarian Golem to me, and I don't really want to use a Galarian Golem, you know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. Depends on what else I find before the end of the game. It might be stuck for me. All right, get rid of the fog. I want to find the other trainer. All right, let's heal outside of battle so we don't have to do it in the battle. Waste our turn. Right, hyper Potion on Kareem Shop. There we go. If you hurry, you'll only up going in circles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, I feel like I'm stuck. Right, we'll go this way. 
No, I'm not lost. Shut up. <laughs> How do you get through? This is like a really unfortunate puzzle. It's not a puzzle. It's just a... Dude, I didn't touch it. No. Oh, I wish you could use flash in here. There's got to be. You go back? No. Yeah, this sucks. This is the worst one. This is stupid. I don't like this at all. <laughs> like, and that's not me raging. This is just unfortunate. Like, really unfortunate. Oh, my. This sucks. <laughs> Please let me through. I'm begging you. No! This is so annoying. Let me through. I'm begging. This is the absolute worst. Thank you. We're done. Oh, boy. Tell me I didn't... Dude, if I walk forward right there... I swear to God. All right. How many did I miss? Okay, I didn't. That's good. That makes me happy. I didn't miss a trainer because of it. Oh, boy. That was so frustrating, bro. All right. I think we're done here. I'm going to try and do it without Karincha because I don't really want Karincha on the team. I mean, she's here. I might as well use her. Let's lead with Evil Dave. I want to use Evil Dave. I like Evil Dave a lot. All right. Gym mission complete. Put the sticks away. We're going to fight Melanie. Mallory? Melanie? I think it's Melanie. Let's do it. Time for our sixth gym challenge of this adventure. I'm excited. I want to see some new ice types. You know I'm going to. All right, number 280 enters the stadium once again. Here we go. Oh, man. Dude, there she is. Hi, Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all ice type Pokemon. You can't... You... You aren't sore from all the falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. Alright. Time for our sixth gym challenge of this Pokemon Sword and Shield Let's Play. Versus Melanie, the Ice-type gym leader of Surchester Town and number 361 in the Galar region. Let's do this. First up is going to be Frostmoth. That's going to be, yeah, that's going to be Snom's evolution. Frostmoth looks sick. Let's do it, Evil Dave. I know you can do it. All right, Frostmoth looks sick. I love it. All right, I'm guessing it's a nice bug type. And if that's the case, I don't really have anything that Evil Dave would be good against here. So in that case, I say we're just going to use False Surrender for the first time and see how much damage that we can do with it. About a third. All right. And it's going to use Icy Wing. Interesting. If they buff that, it'll do a lot of damage. But if not, I probably will take it fine. Mmm. We're cutting it close. And since my speed fell, I don't know if I'll be able to outspeed and use Draining Kiss. Because of that fact, I'm going to take this opportunity to switch out and let Karincha come in. I think this is her time to fight. Get back, Evil Dave. I need your help, Karincha. You need to take down this Frost Maw. Icy Wind again? Or something different? It's Bug Buzz. Interesting. That would have definitely killed me. But I'm glad I switched out. And it didn't lower my speed because it didn't use Icy Wind. So in that case, I'm going to go for Flame Charge. Bug Buzz again. All right, it's not going to be trying to lower my speed, so I'm going to take that opportunity to raise it. Raise the speed, Karincha. Flame Charge. That's it for Frostmoth. All right, so Frostmoth might evolve again. It might not. That might be the final form. Might be the middle form. We'll find out after we check the Bogodex. Or get an idea, rather. But Karincha hits level 42. Cool. Next up, Darmanitan. This is going to be the Galarian Darmanitan we get to see. Karincha, you're going to stay in command. 
Galarian Darmanitan. Okay. It's interesting. <laughs> um, I don't know what type it is, but I'm going to go ahead and commit to the Rock Blast. It's going to go for Taunt. Interesting. Okay, I don't have any interest in using any non-attacking moves. Rock Blast. One. A two. Uh, only twice. Dang. Zen mode. What? That looks so cool. What is that? Oh, that's sick. So, Galarian Darmanitan is Zen Mode and it becomes an Ice Fire type? Let's test that theory with some Flame Charge action. It missed us, which is interesting. It's an Ice Fire type! That's insane! No! I don't want to Dynamax. <laughs> I accidentally tapped that. No! Alright. <laughs> Icicle Crash. Alright, I thought she was going to go for healing, so I went for Rock Blast. It's an Ice Fire type. Wow. All right, Rock Blast, Karincha. All right, we missed. That's unfortunate. All right, that's fine. We'll get some more speed. Icicle Crash again. This Galarian Darmanitan is rough. It is smashing us up. All right, Flame Charge. And that's going to be it for Galarian Darmanitan. Very cool to see it. Ice Fire Zen Mode. Wild. That's sick. Evil Dave hit 40 and Molly 46. And Evil Dave wants to learn Nasty Blot. Uh, I don't have room for it, I don't think. I mean, it'd be better than False Surrender with Dark... Yeah, let's get rid of False Surrender. It would be really good with Dark Pulse and Draining Kiss. Get extra healing from the boost. Yeah, it's just really good. All right, Molly wants to learn Wood Hammer. I thought you'd learn that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go against it, though. Drum beating's good enough, and uh, recoil is pretty severe. East you another new Pokemon three for three. Let's stay in command, Karincha. It's an East you. What? That's the only Pokemon that's been I've seen so far that I don't like. It's just a penguin with a block of ice on its head. <laughs> what is that? Is that an ice water type? I'm going to go for Rock Blast because it might be part water and Flame Charge won't be super effective. Ice Face? Multi-hit moves are a good idea then. So it's like a Mimikyu, but it's an Ice type? What is this? I'm, I take what I said back then. It has a purpose. Okay. Um, I like it then. I hope we can still outspeed. Because I don't want Karincha to faint here. No, nah, ooh, freeze dry. Well, that's it for us. We lived! One HP. Oh, and it froze me solid. I have flame body! That still doesn't dethaw me? Are you kidding? Alright, let's switch out. Who do I want to go into here? Um, let's do it with Project Nova. I can finish this off with him. Alright, come on back, Karincha. Let's go for this, Project Nova! Please don't take Project Nova out. I want Project Nova to finish you off. So badly. I'm a water type! What am I doing? That's four times effective! I'm done! What was I thinking? I forgot about freeze dry. Ah, I always forget about freeze dry. It's super effective against water, and since Nova's a dragon, that's four times effective. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, Evil Dave's gonna get ended if he comes in here, though. Can Molly out speed and take a hit i think that's what we're gonna have to do and we can test the water ice type theory here since i don't know i've never seen it before all right what are you gonna use on me freeze dry again yep all right take this hit molly and don't get frozen we could be in big hurt if you get frozen okay molly drum beating oh it's faster and it's gonna set up the hail for her ace that concerns me greatly and I don't know what that ace is going to be. That's also terrifying. Oh, the hail brings the ice face back. Whoa, that's so weird. Are you a water type? No. All right, we lowered its speed at least and got rid of the ice face. Is it going to come back from the hail or does it take a turn? I don't know, but you got to get this thing out of here, Molly. Drum beating. Get this thing gone. 
Good. All right, Eskew's out of here. Really interesting Pokemon. All right, Karis hits 36, Project Nova 37. Love to see that. And her ace and her final Pokemon is Lapras. All right. We are in trouble. This is definitely not going to be a clean fight. We could wipe if I don't heal, but I'm not going to use an item. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice. And I'll show you what I mean. Her ace is Lapras. Level 42, water ice type. And the hail's up, which terrifies me. But I need to beat this thing as hard as I can before Molly bites the dust. Because this Lapras is about to Gigantamax. And it's gonna do a lot of damage. Molly's time is getting cut short quick. Alright. Gigantamax Lapras. Wow. It's huge. Molly, you gotta outspeed. Or we are in big trouble. Drum beating. Alright, we did half of its health before Molly falls. And we lowered its speed too, which is great. Partner signature move into a sub-zero world. G-Max Resonance. This is way it for Molly. <laughs> she did what we needed though. Yikes. Does that bring an icy terrain to the field? Or an Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil. That works against special moves, right? I didn't read it. Um, We're in big trouble unless Karincha outspeeds and defrosts on the first turn. That's so unlikely. But oh, the hail might just kill her on the entry. No, okay. Um, Info here. Lapras. Aurora Veil. For five turns of power, special and physical moves will be half. Oh, no. We are in big trouble if Karincha doesn't outspeed and defrost. Nope, Max Geyser. Yeah, Karincha's done. That's two turns. So, basically, let my Pokemon that aren't... Now it's raining? Okay. So basically let my Pokemon that are almost done. I don't want Karis to have to fall. Evil Dave's my only option here. It's speed's lowered. Maybe Evil Dave can outspeed and get a little bit of help back with Draining Kiss. It's all I can hope for. But do I go for Revenge thinking it'll outspeed? No, I'm going to go for Draining Kiss. Evil Dave Draining Kiss! I did like nothing because of the Aurora Veil. Hopefully it gives him the health to survive. I don't think that's going to happen, though. We are not looking good here. We could lose. I don't have Patty. Patty would have this wrapped. But I didn't bring her because of this Karis I'm trying to evolve. Project Nova is pretty quick, but I want him to come in and Draco Meteor as soon as that Gigantamax is done. Mind Shuffler is going to have to come into play. Let's go at Mind Shuffler. Let's do this. You are going to have to do something for us. Oh, it's done to, to Gigantamaxing now. Okay, I should have brought in Project Nova. Um, Maybe Mind Shuffler can do something here. Let's try and burn it. Surf. Yeah, we are done. It's raining. We're weak to that. Mind Shuffler is gone. This is not looking good. I really hope the speed drop Molly brought to it can have Project Nova do something for us here. 15 HP left. I don't know what to do. We're gonna wipe. Do I Draco Meteor or Rock Blast? No, I'm not trying to swap. Draco, Meteor, or Rock Blast? Water Absorb! Does the AI know that? I should have switched into Project Nova. I didn't think about Surf. I'm gonna go with my gut. We just got it. Come on, Project Nova. Draco, Meteor! What? I know there's no way gonna be enough. No, not even... Close. Surf? Icy wind. And that's where we fall. 
Unless I want to bite the bullet and use an item. And for the Let's Play's sake, I think that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> oh, the Aurora Veil. It was still up. I checked for that. It didn't say it. It said rain. Oh, it wasn't active because it wasn't hailing. All right, Karis. Yeah, you're going to feel a world of hurt. All right, let's use a Max Revive right here and do it on... Let's do it on Project Nova. Project Nova can take the hits for me to revive everybody else so they can still get some experience, at least. We're in one of those eternal states of healing right now. I was bested. Melanie bested me. Uh, I, only because I don't have Patty. <laughs> Patty would have made this a joke. Are you kidding me? I guess Patty was who I needed, not Karinsha. That proves to me that she's no longer a part of our team. Definitely. All right. Let's use a revive on Molly. Let's use it on Karis. Karis needs the experience more. Molly needs it the least. So if I don't have to revive Molly, I won't. All right, how much is Icy Wind going to do? Not a whole bunch. All right. I'm going to revive one more Pokemon and then go for a Rock Blast. And hopefully that'll be enough to finish the fight off. She might also not be in healing range now that I think about it. So I might want to go for something that's going to end up KOing. So... Um, Evil Dave and Mind Shuffler, I would like to get some experience, too. So right now, it's just the Healing Fest to get experience. I was bested. We lost. So, I'll keep that in mind. Only because we didn't have Patty. I can't believe it. Patty. Patty probably is pretty necessary. The coverage is insane. The Electric and Poison's great to have. Alright, Mind Shuffler. Crenshaw doesn't need XP. Molly doesn't either, but Molly probably would help us beat this thing. It's putting us to sleep. I'm definitely going to help have Molly finish this off for us. It's just too easy. Come in and drum beating and it's over. Also, because I didn't want a Dynamax. But I don't want to do that. All right, Molly. Max revive just in case you get dealt a lot of damage with like Icy Wind or something. Probably won't two shot with Icy Wind. Oh, Ice Beam probably would. Ice Beam, don't knock out Project Nova. All right, we're good. All right, let's get our sixth badge. I love Melanie's design. I think she looks awesome. All right, Molly, come on in and finish this up for us. I hope. I hope it uses Ice Beam. We live and doesn't freeze us, and then we can finish off with Drum Beam. Icy Wind would lower our speed, and we wouldn't outspeed, and then it'd kill us with Ice Beam. So Icy Wind would be worst-case scenario if Ice Beam doesn't KO. And it didn't. And it didn't freeze. All right. Our sixth gym challenge is over. Drum beating. You're done. Thanks for the fight, Melanie. There we go. Got the ice badge, probably. All that XP. Not that anybody leveled up. Another fight one with Molly. Wouldn't it be funny if her name was Molly? I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'd be more like falling from here, right? Aw, I wonder what happened with her son. Something probably dark that I don't want to know about, but... Oh, well. You, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with such ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. All right, our sixth gym badge of this Galar region Let's Play. We got the ice badge from Melanie. There we go. Six out of eight down. I can now catch Pokemon up to level 50 for some reason. I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him the right thrashing, would you? Aw. I wonder what happened there. Chroma, my sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Melanie. Take this TM. TM 27. Icy Wind. The move she used on us multiple times. And we get the ice type uniform, which is pretty sweet. I'd like to wear that one, but I don't know how to change into the uniform. So. Oh, well. I mean, can you do it right here? Uniform shop. Yeah. How do you, like, change into the ones you already have? I have no idea. I've never been able to figure that out. Can you, like, go to the door right here? No? I don't know. Oh, well. Anyways, guys. With that being said, we got our sixth badge of this adventure. We saw some stuff, too. Let's go check out the Darmanitan. Um, and all the Pokemon we saw this episode. Look at that Darmanitan. And the Eskew. Eskew's actually so cool. I feel so bad that I hate it on it. Just a nice type. Huh. 
Iskew's not found for a while. It's in that wild area we can do with surfing, I guess. And then up here by Route 10. Hmm. Iskew is interesting. Definitely. I mean, so is Dragobish, but... I like Iskew. It's interesting. I don't know what its backstory is, but I'm looking forward to catching it. I love the menu sprite. It changes so much for me when I see a menu sprite, I tell you what. Oh, I got Lapras. Lapras is found soon. Avalug, not in the game, really. I guess that might be a sword thing. Yeah, it's so Frostmoth is Snom's evolution. I wonder if it evolves twice, because I'm not too interested in Frostmoth. Eh. But yeah, we get to see Dreepy soon. Where do you find Dreepy? Oh, that wild area after you surf. Okay. All right, guys. So, if you enjoyed this episode, a like is so appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads for this series and the channel as a whole. And next time, when we head south to here and finally get the ability to surf, I'm guessing, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much.